Good morning, y'all. It is Friday, April 21st, and about 7.30 in the morning. Today is Chick Day, and I'll tell you what, OGK is beside himself. He's been so excited for months getting chicks. When we were in the rental house, he was like, can we get chicks, can we get chicks? I'm like, no, man, we can't get them now. We'll have to wait until we move. And it all just worked out, and he waited patiently, kind of. But he's... um. He's a little freaked out this morning. He makes sure everything is just right. He's so worried about, he's, he's just, he's worried about everything being perfect. I'm like, dude, it'll, it'll be fine. It's all gonna work out, don't worry about it. You got your light, you got your, your 50 gallon tub, you got your pine shavings, you got your food, your feeder, everything. So he's just, he's excited, but he's got a nervous excitement about him. He's a bit of a worry wart sometimes. But he just loves these dang chickens so much. You know, Lucy wasn't feeling so well yesterday, so he was worried about that too. But so far this morning, she looks like she's okay. How's Lucy looking? She's still looking a little down, I don't know. Because until I got right up, then she started pecking at the wire screen. They're always, as soon as I come out here, they start pecking at like, let us out. So I don't know, she's not looking 100%, but she'll probably be fine. Is and she then, molting by chance? Like the, her, no, no, her, not molting. The color of her feathers look different They're from that angle. They're always like that. Are they? Yeah, it may just be the morning sun. Okay. All right, well, what are we going to get? Chicks! <laughs> How excited are you about that? Pretty excited. I've been waiting for this for a while. I want to have this experience so I can say, yeah, I've raised chicks. How nervous are you right now? I'm not nervous. They'll be fine. Okay. I've watched plenty of YouTube videos. I think I'll be fine because, you know, everything on the internet's true. Now, I heard you mention Dale Henderson. That's right. I've learned a lot from his chick series, seeing how fast they grow and what he uses. I actually asked, emailed him about a week ago, and I said, hey, what heat lamp do you use? Because I just can't find one for a good price that is reliable. And he sent me a link. So... Thank you so much, Dale Henderson. It's really a lifesaver. Thanks, Dale. All right, I gotta check out Dale's series. I don't think I've seen it. I think his chicks are five weeks old now. You know what? Maybe I did see one of the videos in there. I gotta check out the rest of them. All right, guys, we're going to get chicks. Exciting. Well, that was a bummer. We just stopped into the hardware store, and apparently the post office lost the chicks. Yeah, we, they don't know where they are. They said uh, they can't track them until 9 a.m., so that's a half an hour off. He said check back at lunch, but we have to go down and pick up a nail gun today. And do I go straight here? I think I do. We have to go down and pick up a nail gun today, and we're also going to... No, I gotta go right here, buddy. I think. And we're also gonna check Southern States while we're down there, because it's close. And if they have the right breeds, we're gonna pick some up. If not, we'll wait until the order comes in. So they're, they're having identical orders the next three or four weeks, so there'll and be no shortage. The thing is, is I could just say, oh, I'll get them next week, but now there's double the demand because, you know, there are like five people as we're walking in, like, oh, are you going for chicks? And I said, yep. And I said, uh, they're not there. And then he explained it to us. But, you know, we heard like three people, like everyone's there for chicks, so it's very high demand, so. I don't know if we're going to get chicks there. We'll see. So we'll check out Southern States and or maybe Tractor Supply. We're going to be in the neighborhood of both of those. So. Wish us luck. Okay, guys. Well, we got some bad news here. Looks like Lucy hasn't been feeling well. And Ethan did some research and thinks that she might be egg bound. So he's got the Vaseline and you see he's got his glove on. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> what did you say a few minutes ago? I can't believe I'm sticking my finger up a chicken's butt. <laughs> You've just resigned yourself to doing it. <laughs> and I just willingly accepted it. Like, oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Hey, man, got to do what you got to do. Yeah, by the way, guys, you may be looking at her and saying, oh, that's not egg bound. That's just because I, li I lifted up her tail just a second ago, and it hasn't gone back down yet. Aww, and poor she's kind girl. of been sitting in this spot right here all day, and she wasn't looking too great yesterday, but... And then I read online that their wings were kind of droop, and her wings were drooping earlier, yep. and her tail's kind she's of definitely, down, so. She's definitely acting different. Okay, so what are you going to do and why? I'm going to stick my finger up her butt because I'm trying to feel for her egg, and if she has an egg in there. It says that it will be one to two inches deep, usually um, three tops. And what we can do is we can give her an Epsom salt bath. We can put some more Vaseline around there to try to coax the egg out. And if we give her a warm bath, it'll like relax the muscles and because the muscles may become swollen because she's trying to push it out 
and it will relax the muscles and it'll be able to come out. And sometimes they're just like malnutrition and they don't have enough calcium is something I read. So we're going to just try this and see if she actually does have an egg in there. And I really hope I don't regret this. I'll regret it anyway, but. No, I think, I think we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna save her, so. All right, let's get to it. And here we go, live on YouTube. Uh, okay. Gotta where, do it. Where are you? <laughs> Where's the butt, girl? There it is. Where? Right there. Oh, gosh, okay. Feel anything? Oh, this is gross, dude. Feel anything? No. Uh, okay, hold on a second. It's clean. It smells. Yeah, well, you just had your hand up your butt. Yeah, oh gosh, I can't believe I'm doing You're gonna this. do it again, I huh? Actually, no, I need to go in deeper. Sorry, girl. <coughs> All right, relax. Oh! Did you feel anything? Yeah, I think I felt something. Okay. But as soon as she started to... So I say we just try giving her an Epsom salt bath. It won't hurt. Okay, deal. Sorry, Lucy. Let's do that. All right, so now she's in a bath, right? And you decided not to use the Epsom salts, why? Because some websites said don't use it the first time, use it the second time. Okay. Looks like water off a duck's back. Right. Alright. Are you enjoying this or is this too much for you? I'm gonna try to get her butt in there. I know. I don't like this. All right, so the whole idea of the bath, the warm bath, is that you're trying to... Relax her muscles so the egg can come out if they're swollen. Okay. All right, we'll see how this goes. I hope you're feeling better here in short order. Your comb and water look fantastic. You didn't even try to eat the ant that was on your foot. You're like, eh, whatever. <laughs> oh, you getting a little drink? A little drink. She actually looks like she's perked up a little bit already. Yep. I think she's starting to run out of there. We're gonna let her soak still. We put a little more water in just so we know that it's covering her backside so she gets a nice soak. See, and you guys thought we were kidding when we said spa day for the chickens. No, it's a forced spa day. <laughs> it's forced spa day. <laughs> and Penny wants some of it. She tried to fly the run, but she couldn't make it. She couldn't get out. Well, maybe we can treat her too. Lucy's falling asleep. Oh, little lady. Aww. Falling asleep, little lady. Our chickens have it good here, thanks to my boy, OGK does a great job with them. Bummer about the chicks today, huh? Yeah, it was. But, oh well. We stopped you by know. Tractor Supply. We stopped by Southern States. Southern States and Tractor Supply had some chicks, but not the breeds that you wanted. And Southern States is out. Nope. We've been gone for a week. Time for a nap, huh, girl? Relaxing, huh? Just do a spa day once a week. Bats are relaxing for chickens as they are humans. Go to sleep <laughs> and good night. Do you have the pacifier? Yeah, no. I just got word that the chicks have landed. Let's go check them out. You were reading them a story, Joe? Yeah, I was. What a nerd, I love it. <gasps> Hello, peepees. Hello, little cheekies. They didn't actually have any golden comets. I was planning on getting three golden comets and three barred rock, oh. and I did end up getting three barred rock because they had that, but they didn't have golden comets, so I just decided to go with Rhode Island Red, and he said that they're very friendly and oh, docile. So spazzy. So that's what I went with, and they're all looking like they're fine. Right, so I'm guessing the, guessing the black ones are Bard Rock, mm -hmm. and the other ones are Rhode Island Red. That's right. See, that one's actually going to sleep right now. Good night, little chicky. Uh, I heard that you've already named them Bertha and some other stuff. Bertha she and She only named Hector. like four of them. Hector. Hector. Sorry. 
Hector. Hector. Hector keeps pecking at all of them. Hector's just rude. And then I used to know a guy named Hector. See what I'm saying? You'd always say, see what I'm saying? Oh, it was that, that guy? That from? See what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, and he was, then he was my Bertha. paper route manager, <laughs> Hector. See what I'm saying? There's who else? Bertha. Bertha has no sense of personal space whatsoever. Do you want me to pick one up and show the camera? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh is, get out of there. There's one of the knuckleheads getting in there. And then Gladys. Okay, who's that? Okay. That's possibly Gladys. Hi, Gladys. What a pretty kitty you are. Hello. I try to pet its body, not head. Hello, little girl. Why is that? Well, because they're fragile. Okay. They're fragile. Good night, fragile little flower. They're like you, Jill. They're fragile they're little flowers. They are. <laughs> this is awesome. Yep. This is awesome. Cool. Well, congratulations, my man. You got one. I mean, all of a sudden, the 50 foot to the 50 gallon tote seems a wee bit big, but. <laughs> no, no, it's a good size, so they can run around. They say, have, have at did least. Did you see them spazzing out when you came in here? Yeah. They say have at least two and a half feet um, per square foot, or per bird. Two and a half square foot per feet. Or two and a half square feet per bird because they grow so fast, they'll be twice as big as that, as that in tomorrow two morning, and a half weeks. We're gonna come out tomorrow, they're gonna be full grown. And like, the guy do? at the hardware store, he said uh, they've Guys, been eating and drinking, so they've been eating and drinking, so they don't need food or water. It's, uh, they need sleep. Okay. Apparently only one of them's listening to that advice. Well, apparently this might be too hot for them. So your light didn't show up, buddy? It's right there. I just haven't put it in yet. It showed up literally as we were pulling out. Yeah, we were pulling out and we grabbed it. Well, let's put it on. Not yet. No. He wants them to settle in. Okay.